You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I'm going to check out another slick silver game for you. These are incredible water action games. Yes, it is actually water that moves around this game surface. Now, I showed you the apple tree already. People had questions about what the surface was. I cannot update you on that information yet, but if I find something, I definitely will. So this one is the Citadel. Now these are all Mega Corp games from the 70s. This one's 1978. Can you move all the slick silver from the first number to the last without losing a drop? So you put it here, you fill, and you go to the one, then to the two, then to the three. Interesting how this is all patterned, so you're not going around this way. So I wonder if you can go to the one and all the way around to the two. I'm not sure, we will see. And then turn an ordinary drop of water into a mercury-like liquid. And it sure does look pretty cool. Now this one is in much better shape than the last one. So I shouldn't have to remove the plastic. So you start here, fill hole, start well. Okay, ramp the moat. Okay, so I guess you can get out of here. Move all the slick silver to each one of the numbered wells from one to seven in order. Okay, fill the closed bottle with ordinary cold tap water. Got that. Through the hole in the transparent cover, slowly squeeze the bottle, filling to start with without overflowing. Instantly, the water is transformed into slick silver, the magical mercury-like liquid. Using a rotating or tilting motion, carefully remove this, maneuver the slick silver in one continuous drop along the pathway to well number one. Only after you've gotten to well number one can you proceed to well number two. Do not shake or move the game suddenly, splashing the slick, slick silver against the cover. Okay, if you lose any of the slick silver over the edge or of the pathway into the moat, you must move the slick silver back up the ramp and start over again from the start well. You must proceed from one well to another in numerical order with all the slick silver until you finally reach well number seven. Race with your friends and so on. Let's see. The following scores will tell you how well you've mastered the Citadel. All seven, perfect. Five to six expert, three to four novice, two or less. Try again. Once you've mastered this, reverse the process. Special note. If water splashes up onto the inside of the plastic cover, do not attempt to remove the cover to wipe it off. Let it let it dry. Handling the inside play surface can ruin the slick silver effect. So maybe somewhere in here it tells you what that surface is. I'm not really sure. Let's get this one out of the box. Now I have taken one of my little fillers. They all had come with this. There are a couple different ones. I'll have to compare when we get through the video. But it does say Mego Corp on it. So I grabbed that from another one because this one did not have in there. And a lot of times they are missing. As you can see now, this one is in much better condition. There's the back. And it's very clean, so I shouldn't have to. It almost looks like it's never been played with. So they want me to fill this, then move it to here, to here, to here, to here, to here, to here, to here. Here we go. Here, here. Let me fill up my little bottle. And then I'll fill up this section. Okay. Now I don't know if that's too much yet, but we will see. Okay, so I've separated. I might be, oh, and some just dropped over. Okay, so I think it's a little too much. Let me, let me get a tissue here. I forgot to have something to drain out so let me just push it all to here it's neat how it bounces around I actually think the surface on this one is a little bit better than the surface on the last one all right let's do it again I'm gonna put a little less in there this time oops that's six drops Oh, come on back. Oh, look at how it just breaks apart and then I'm all over the place instantly. Wow. I'm just fascinated by watching this move. All right, let's get it all out. Let's see if I can bring it back. I'm wondering if you could see it. All right, let me do this. Let me, let me see if I, this light, turning this light off top helps. Okay, that helps a little. It's going to be a little darker too, by the way. Come on back. 
they sure don't make it easy. Which is a good thing. I mean, if it was too easy, would you really want to play it? If it was way too easy? No, it wouldn't be any challenge. Come on, come on. Ah, okay, let me put a little bit more in there. Okay, here we go. I find these extremely challenging. There's a little bit extra. Oh, I lost just a tiny drop. Look at how tiny. It's like a little pearl bead. Let me zoom in closer so you can see it. There's a little tiny bead in there. All right, let me bring that little piece back. All right, start over. It's very hard to return it all back. Okay. Okay, so now there's none in there. Let's do this again. Wow. These are tough. Here we go. Slow and steady. It splits us splits apart so easy. Oh, come back. That probably doesn't count, but I'm going for it anyway at this point. Ah! Right, let me bring it back to one. I'm getting a little bit better. A little bit more control. Let me turn this back a little. See, I don't think it can split. It's really challenging because you hit that corner, and look at that, it splits into all kinds of pieces. There's one little ball in there, see it? Where'd it go? Oh, it connected. That all came apart. Bring it back. But at least you can see it moving around. See that? It's like a marble. Okay. Here we go. You can tell this kind of game takes some serious practice. Back to number three. Oh, look, I just noticed now there is no path connecting between here. See it? So you can't do what I said. You have to go back and forth all the way around. So that's the only way you can get through this. Okay, so now I'm pretty much a novice. Let's try to get to three. It broke off. Let's try it again. It hit the lid there just a little. Okay, so that droplet won't come out. Let's put a couple more drops in for what's stuck on the lid there. Here we go to one.
to three. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> All right, let's let's see if we can at least get to four. Five. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Six. Now I got to come back to seven. Ah, oh, whew. That was scary. I think we did it. So it seems like now there was a little bit more in there. That seemed to work. Now I wonder if it's a smaller drop, if it's harder. So that's something you probably have to experiment with. Let me bring it back to number one. Oh, yeah, so I, it will split. Let me just move it around a little bit so you can kind of see it in the surface. Lots of crazy movement, isn't it? That is so cool. All right, well, there you go. I got through it. Could be because I had maybe an extra drop or two. I'm not sure, but it's still fun. And you can still challenge yourself and you can still practice. It's something that with practice, you probably could get better at it. This one is the Citadel. Now, uh, a good update is that I have found the missing one just recently. That was the dam, I believe. And then the next one I can show you is probably the canyon. So we'll do that one next. And thanks for watching, and if you want to see the video of this one, the apple tree, I will have a link. Now, I wasn't able to do this one, and I did play it even more after, and it's hard to do. You bring a, you fill this up here, and you have to get into each compartment here, all of them, and fill them all with water without going over the edge. So, much harder than this one. So, I'll have that link there, and as always, thanks for watching and supporting the channel, and thanks for all the comments to show the other games, and that's what I'm going to do. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.